What are you doing, brown boy? Man, I lost a flashlight several nights ago. And I come out here looking, I never could find it. I brought my metal detector and I'm gonna look around it. I brought my metal detector and I'm gonna look around down there and see if I can find it. Maybe Bigfoot hadn't gotten it. Maybe I'll find it. It's a good flashlight. I hate to lose it. Man, all the leaves done fell. We can see everything across here now. Ooh, look at here, what a deer been rubbing. Service will get better, y'all. It comes in and out. What are you doing, Shaky? I brought the metal detector out here. I'm going to see if I can find my flashlight I dropped. I'm going to go live tonight at 9 o'clock out here. And the hell, I need all my flash. Post. Come hire you. We get down here, the service normally picks up because I always talk about this old big cherry tree right here. Yeah, I got a green light now, y'all, so it ought to be better for everybody. I don't know exactly where I lost it. Swamp rat. Swamp rat. Appreciate the trip, man. I ain't trying to dig down in the ground and look for nothing. All I'm looking for is my flashlight. A lot of times if you little thing down there, if it bumps a, like if you bump a limb, it'll go off. I'm getting close down in here where I might have been. Want red, I appreciate it, bro. Man, ain't no telling what you'd find if you dug under here and went down in the dirt. You can hear this thing. It's got different sounds for different types of metals. But whatever I'm looking for is going to be right on top of the ground because it just happened. A lot of times around old ditch banks and stuff, you'll get a lot of stuff.
I wish I could find my flashlight with all y'all on here. Man, y'all hear this thing? It's all kind of, let's see what that says. Some kind of foil, probably a drink lid top or something like that. Yes, I'm going live tonight, y'all, at 9 o'clock. I'm just hoping to find my flashlight out here today before I went live tonight. Which I got several flashlights, but that's a pretty good one, y'all. $60 flashlight. Ain't no telling what would be under these grounds, guys. I want a metal detector around them Indian barrel grounds back here. I'm not even looking at my screen, so y'all might see something in the background. Most time when you catch something is when you're not trying to. Something awesome today. Hey, Intergalactic. Swamp Rat. Yes, I'm going out. Hey, Shelby. I hope I find my flashlight. Well, you can hear some high signals on some of them. Listen. A lot of them are false signals. Because if you bump something like that right there, it'll make it go off. I just got a feeling that my flashlight kind of got covered up with leaves with all these leaves done fell. No, Brown Dwarf, I didn't see no UV light they sent you, man. I'm sorry about that, brother. I ain't... We've been at the doctor's office, and we have radiation and all today, so I hadn't really been strolling much. Debbie, I'm looking for a flashlight that I lost. Bigfoot probably does have my flashlight. If I see a flashlight running around down here tonight, we're going to know. Y'all going to think I got a hoax going on because y'all going to see a flashlight and it's going to be Bigfoot down here <laughs> watching me. Man, I'm right down here by the ditch. Ain't no telling. We might have gold down here. It is a black flashlight. That's what's going to make it so bad. Hey, y'all, let's just see if we find us a gold nugget. We might find us a big-ass gold nugget while we got out. Look, ooh, going off right here on this bank.
Still, I ain't a professional gold searcher. We got creeps all over this part of the country. Man, there ain't no damn telling what would be off up in these woods. Turn you down. Flashlight would be aluminum, wouldn't it? That was it. I saw a little, a little black rotten stick. Made me want to bring a shovel out here one day and do this. Come on, Shaky. <laughs> I didn't bring no shovel. Yeah, that's why I brought my metal detector. I've come out here a couple different times just looking, investigating, and while I was out here, I was trying to just eyeball it. And what I figure is leaves done fell over top of it. And I feel that it's done got covered up. There's one of my trail cameras back here. I think I used to farm this land or something a long time ago. Shake, I'm not a hundred percent. Well, I fail. If you was out there with me, you could me and you could probably reenact it and find pretty close. Cause you was watching it that night on live. Mr. J, one of my subscribers on here, he wanted me to come back down here the other day and look around. But it started sprinkling rain and you know yourself, Shaky. Down here, you ain't just close to no vehicle. If it starts raining, you're going to get your ass soaking wet before you get back up top of the hill. There's a cigarette butt right there. So I know I was standing right in here at one time. See, I could have dropped that flashlight out before I even realized I lost it. Let's 
See, I went over by my other camera also, and this is where I got them briars at. Y'all can see them in front of it. Trying to find my way through here. Oh, did I get all stacked up? Oh, shut up. What up, Scott? If I don't find that, I'm going to walk back out the other way. Just strange how these little holly bushes grew down here. I know I lost it because I didn't have it in my pocket when I went to look for it. Got another camera right here on the tree. Know what I'm saying, cowboy? I, I just realized it after I fell down, so I associated me tripping and falling with losing the flashlight. But truly, I could have been anywhere walking, and it fell out and not know it because I had it in my jacket pocket where I could put my hand in my pocket real quick and jerk it out if I need to on the left side. Because I got my big flashlight on my right side all the time. Cause I'm right handed. Man, if I had me a shovel, I ain't no damn telling what I would find. I'm trying to find it all. I'm hoping Vault. Very well, he'd come this weekend. I don't know. I haven't talked to Vault in a few days. Who was that that asked? Hey, Mr. Harp, I didn't realize it was you. I just seen the comment, I didn't see who it was. Well, I tried to rewatch my life and backstep and retrace, but this property is so large that it looks completely different at night. I tell you what, y'all come in here tonight around nine o'clock and you'll see this property looks completely different. We got about a 40 acre bottom right here that we think is highly worked. I mean, we think there's unusual activity down here. We're almost certain there is. We have three cameras just in this one bottom, and I'm coming out of it now, and here's the first camera pointing down in the bottom. Look. Trying to find it. They just started doing that within the last three or four weeks. I'm certain it's under the leaves. Hey, Hart. Man, that does look different in the daytime.
this is where I'm coming tonight, cowboy. I'm gonna come down here and work this bottom I'm in right now. And as I'm walking, I'm identifying stuff as in that tree right there, that broke tree. Y'all may not see it good, but when I come out here tonight, my flashlight hits it, I'll definitely realize that tree and I'll know where I'm at. Because if you turn a lot, sometimes you'll get twisted. Not saying that you lost, but you'll get twisted from going north and south unless you got a compass. So when I'm out here, like today, and I seen another weird structure a while ago. Where'd I see it at? If I see this sycamore tree right there with them two legs on it, I mean, I know where I'm at. That's one good thing about doing daytime walking before you do a nighttime investigation. Limbs broke. If I see that tonight, I'll know about it. What's that, Stephanie? Hadn't seen no bucks breeding, but I've seen enough tracks to know that they... Yeah, it looks a lot different. Summer, fall, looks a lot different day, night. What's well, black in the trees? Mm. I don't know which way you mean in this way possibly. Thank you, Christopher, for the roses. Keep right. It was hanging in a tree. Oh, you got me looking up now, and I'm gonna trip and fall. Let me step back where I was. It may have been a shadow or something. Let's go back. I was standing right here for a little bit, reading chat. Where the broke tree was. All right, there's the broke tree right here behind us. Hold on a minute, we'll, back, we'll backtrack just a little further. And I'll turn like I was coming. I remember stopping right in here. There's my tracks right there. I can see the leaves. And I said, there's that broke tree. I'll know where it is tonight. Harp, I ain't got them on. It's not real cold today. All I got is a sweatshirt and a hoodie on. Let me see what the temperature says. Uh, let me find it. 61 right now, so man, it's real pleasant. I could actually be down here with a t-shirt on, but I put a hoodie on just in case I got cold. You don't see it now? Well, that's the way things are. You get one shot at seeing a lot of things and you don't get another shot. I was too busy looking at chat, not looking in front of me. Do a 360. Let me put my metal detector down. You'll see what I'm talking about. That way I'm not trying to swing around and hit it. 
All right, that's pointing uphill. That's where I have to go to go to the camp house. Now I'm going to do a 360. I'm going to do it up or high so y'all can see. Yes, I do landmarks, so when I come out in the dark, in the dark, everything is different. You come down here tonight and you watch as I do this, and y'all see that broke tree over here. And I'll show you, it's 82 people in here, and if all 82 of you come in tonight, I'll stand in this general vicinity and we'll do another 360, and I'll show you. And just to show y'all, there's that broke tree right there. Y'all see it? And it looks like an X the way that other tree is leaning. But nature could have done it. But we'll do a 360 tonight, and you'll see everything looks different, daylight versus dark. I mean, I'm 25 miles from the closest town, so... And there, I done made my 360... I done made... Is that? Let's go see what that damn noise was. We don't hear that noise two or three times out here, y'all. Sounded like it was coming from over in there to me. What the hell that is? Here's these little trenches that me and Vault found. That and look at the wind blowing. See that old big top on that oak tree? Look at that. You know, we're getting close to the property line. The next landowner over very, very well could deer hunt. But I've never heard gunshots out here. I've been coming out here forever and ever, seems like now. And we never, and y'all are listening, we don't ever hear no gunshots. One night we heard a bunch of them. Orange vest? Where do you see an orange vest at? Tell me, I'm going to sit still. Left, right, which way to go? You said orange vest. I'm out here with a blue hoodie on. I ain't got no orange. Ain't supposed to be no deer hunters on here. Orange vest. No, Shaky, I don't hunt. Now I'm up there by that property line. I don't know exactly know how that property line comes down over there and turns. I'm not sure. I never go real close to it. We've been to these trenches. Somebody said they seen an orange vest. I'm trying to look. Oh, I need one on. Man, I hope the hell they can hear me talking on this live before they go to shooting. I'm not talking quietly. I'm talking loudly now that y'all said that. Man, I'm looking for an orange vest. I'm looking for a deer feeder. And I can show y'all where roughly the property line is. Not exactly, but roughly.
<laughs> Shaky, they probably know I'm here before they hear me talking. Wouldn't you say so? Man, galactic. Hey, Scarlet. Yeah, we probably scaring the deer away. But for somebody illegally hunting over here, we want to make damn sure they know we here. Boy, this looks like a good bottom to deer hunt in, don't it? Y'all who are deer hunters, y'all just look, don't they look like a good bottom? No shaky, I didn't find my light. Bigfoot got it, that's what y'all see. curious about that noise we heard over here. I know for a fact it was coming from this direction right here. Alright, we're getting pretty close to the property line, y'all. I'm not 100%. Not 100%. We'll keep going. You know, I accidentally one time crossed over the line of back here, and that's how I know about where the property line is. I know all these landowners, so I have permission to be out here, so it's not a problem. But I haven't got permission from that landowner to be over there investigating like I do from this landowner. It may not be a problem, but it could possibly be a problem. And I think this is about the line right here. Where's the track star? The reason I think this is the property line is because it looks like a road that splits two properties. The road hasn't been maintained in a while, but sort of, you can see sticks. You can see little washouts. Sort of. Yeah, I think this is about the property line. And just because I think that, I never really get in this road right here. And if you look, I mean, let's just say, I mean, I'm going to stand right on the edge of it. I mean, you look down through it, you can see like a crossing right there. And I think this is the line that we're investigating from right here over. And I think could possibly the, this landowner over here could own that or own the road in that. I'm not certain. Like I told y'all, the old man's 84 years old. He can't, he can't just come down here in these woods. Yeah, that's what I try to do. I try to avoid problems. 
And just because I know this or I'm not 100% certain, this guy could possibly be a deer hunter. This guy could possibly have a corn feeder over here somewhere in his bottom. I don't know. I don't push my luck and trespass. And I haven't got say so to be over here. So, you know, I'm going to ease my tail right back over here to the left a little bit in case the line's a few feet off that road. And that's generally what I do. There's a gully that runs right here. And I know this is over here, just from months and months of investigation. There's old gully runs through here. And I generally try to keep myself on this side. Just stay safe. Where I'm at now, I'm a good 30, 40 yards from the road, 50 maybe. But I know I'm not trespassing. I'm 100% sure I'm not trespassing. All right, Harp, see you, brother. Thank you for coming in. Hey, Mr. Eddie, how are you? Hey, sweet sugar cane. Have I found Bigfoot nest yet? Well, I can't say that it's a nest, but it's definitely something that shouldn't be here for the ones who don't know the backdrop and a lot of people in here do this old man is 84 years old he's got cows and i if you've been in my previous lives you've seen them and he really that's the only spot he really don't want me investigating is over there because he don't want me to accidentally leave a gate open and here his cows are getting out and I promised him I wouldn't let his cows out, and that was part of the agreement for us investigating out here. We, we had to... You know there's some deer running around, don't we? But he was going to feed his cows, and the gate is actually back right over there, and we have our cameras back right down in there. And something was hiding behind a tree. He instantly knew what it was. He didn't mistake it for no bear. He didn't mistake it for nothing else. Here's something unusual right here. Well, there's a buck rub right there where a buck been rubbing the tree. But, but I promise you, a deer did not place these limbs like this. We found them on a previous live. You just, and I left it here. I never touched it. Look at here. There's no way that that limb's heavy. Nature could have done it. You'll hear me say that a lot. Look like lightning struck it. See you, Harp. No, I didn't shoot at no deer. And her. Inner planet. We're gonna walk back around there here in just a minute. I come down in the bottom to try to find my flashlight. First thing, I made a couple loops. I didn't find it, so I just come on out of it because my trail cameras are steadily taking pictures of me the whole time I'm moving. You know. Hope it don't rain tonight, man. This wind picked up. So we started walking down that ditch just a minute ago. So we was walking down it. I'll read catch, y'all. I'm sorry. We was walking down through there just a little bit ago, and I know the property line's close. So I just went over there to show that I've seen if I see a deer feeder. Several people said that sounded like a deer feeder at Noah's a while ago. And I really wanted to see if I could see something, but I don't, I'm not going to trespass. Look here, look at this here. Nature could have done this too. Nature generally don't stack sticks. The 
me rain me out tonight, y'all. It's just if y'all hadn't checked the weather out, you check Mississippi out for the next week or so. We got rain just about every single day. David, you in Mississippi, you know it's fixing to be a rainy time of season, and here we get a lot of rain. I didn't realize toting this damn metal detector around for two hours would get tiresome, too. Hell, this thing weighs 10 pounds, it seems like now. Yeah, that's the ditch I generally stay to the, you know, stay on this side of. The property line's probably a little bit further in that ditch, but I know I'm safe over here. My camera can pick up anything through them trees if something was moving. Then I'd definitely be on his front door knocking. But if people hunt, man, they don't allow you on their land. Y'all hunters know that. You don't allow people on your land if you're a hunter. Oh, there's a hard-ass little hickory tree. And right here beside it looked like his mama, a big old hickory tree. Ooh, I'm walking up this hill. That's a long hill to come up. Hold on, somebody said raining in Arkansas, moving toward Mississippi. Raincoat helps me, but it don't help my phone. You know how when your cameras get wet, your phone gets blurry? That's what happens when, hold on y'all, I gotta swap hands for a minute and took this. Can you imagine trying to come out at night, tow the phone with one hand, tow the umbrella with one hand, have a flashlight, somehow you got a hold. You just ain't enough hands. When I come out at night time doing investigations, I like to have one hand on my phone and my flashlight hangs on my backpack. So I can grab my flashlight, you know, I can let go of it at any time. I got a free hand if I need to grab a hold of anything I have on me to protect myself. Shouldn't have been no camera, y'all heard. Yeah, I like to have one. That's why I keep my flashlight hanging on my backpack. That way I can let go of it. Y'all may not be able to see, but I can grab a hook or something and defend myself with my other hand. It go to raining, and boy, we can't tell. Could you imagine trying to throw an umbrella up and grab something? Hey, Miss Tammy. I got them gloves ready for tonight, Miss Tammy, if it don't rain us out. I'm just looking because the ground's real wet right now. We may accidentally catch us a track. The reason I say that because when I step, 
I can see my boot print. So unless we know of anything stepping, we can definitely see it. Got a bad flood here the other day, and y'all can see how it washed all the leaves out of the way. Mr. Shaky, you know where I'm coming up on now. We call this the playpen. This is something that captivated us a good month or so ago, and we've got cameras running over here, and we've just been keeping constant watch over here. We sort of nicknamed this the playpen because it shouldn't be here. A lot of stuff is rotten and falling now. Here's where we got that cast at right here. If I doubt you'll see it unless something walked across today the amount of water we done got this last week. That's over nine foot tall right there. So it looks like something just reached up and grabbed it and just bent it, broke it. I got my phone standing up on my tiptoes and I'm still not as tall as it is. Didn't no man grab it. Well, if you're a believer like me, Jin Jin, and like the landowner out here, we sort of know what did that, but I'm trying to get proof. See, look, I mean, you run up on stuff like this, six ought not just be stacked. I mean, look. They probably running thermal on me. Have I ever seen what during the daylight cowboy? They're Roy texting me, y'all. Oh, shit, I stepped off in a hole. Look at that hole I found. Mm -hmm. Sit right off in there looking down in that bottom. Cowboy, y'all click that little circle up on the top left. Down on the bottom of the screen, my profile will come up, my picture will. Click that picture, and that'll bring my profile page. Scroll right there under it. Under my picture, you'll see whether we're friends, whether you follow me. You'll see my YouTube while you're over there. Go on and subscribe. Right under it, you'll see a collection. You scroll left and right. It'll be Jasper Collection, Farm Collection, Bigfoot Collection. It'll be Jasper Collection, Farm Collection, Bigfoot collection. Then right under that, you'll see my pin videos. My very first pin video was my Bigfoot encounter when I was eight years old. It was daylight. We was deer hunting. And I can tell you this, that we both fired two rounds apiece and it never stopped. 30 out six and a 12 gauge.
No, I ain't never seen a pink pony. I'm gonna go up here to the X in a minute and y'all know exactly, that's where I was going. I was going up here a little bit further, show y'all this X that we sit at a lot and we do a lot of just calling and tree knocks. I just stopped right here to read some chat. Yeah, I was actually going up probably on another 75, 80 yards. Man, you know this been there forever, don't you, down in these woods. Look like an old barn or something. Probably was right here. Like I said, I figured they probably farmed this bottom right here where this pine is 40, 50 years ago. Now, this side over here where all the oaks and the hardwoods are, it's never been cut. Some of this is virgin timber. Putting this metal detector down. As y'all know, look at here. There's my tree that I beat on a lot. Just for the one. There's my service. Y'all see my service wanting to fade away? Y'all see? Here's my tree. That's the one I've been beating on here lately. While we sitting here watching on that X. This is where we've been getting a lot of our activity at on our grunts, our calls, our eye shines. Nature could have done a lot of this, but the more I turn and look, I'm going to do a 360 like you asked. Hold on a minute. I'm going to start over here, then I'm going to turn. You see, I got a tree right here at my back. I always try to. So you'll see this tree. I'm going to start right here. You see the man's blue trailer. You'll see it when I come out of the woods. My service is up there. Y'all ain't got good service. I got to find y'all some service. My bar done went to red. Man, I ain't got good service here. Christopher, would you say this is on your back up? I think I follow your back. I ain't got no service. Yeah, we. I follow you. Oh, that was somebody else. I gotta find some service. I got a red bar up there, y'all. Let me move about so I find me some. Alright, I got a green bar right here. Man, it's been red the whole time I've been up there. Alright, I'm going to start right here, y'all. I'm already pointing this way. Alright, I'm going to start right here, y'all. I'm already pointing this way. What? twist my body. I don't want to go all the way around. You see right there at the cabin. Right there at the gate. I'm going to 
gonna keep my circle. I had to turn. I got a dead limb laying across right here. Send me a follow, Chris, and remind me, and I'll follow you back. Man, I hope I got some good service tonight to do some knocks where I want to do knocks at up there. That's what everybody says it's cold and rainy in Arkansas. I hope I don't get it till tomorrow. Maybe we can do a live tonight. Right down in this bottom. We were standing right in here the other night when we was getting we we're just anywhere right in here. There's that old twisted tree I was talking about. So you can go back and look at the video. We was right here and you can see this old bent tree a lot. We seeing eyes all in these bottoms and on up them hills up there. We kept seeing them moving. Could have been deer, but I don't think deer's eyes are that far apart. Y'all was here with me. Y'all seen it. What's y'all's thoughts? Everybody go give Chris a follow right there, man. Chris is a, one of my moderators, and he helps out a lot. This is back up. That's a sweet gum. Y'all know what? Let's go look at my little, uh, this is where me and my son... Put our little rocks out here. We drew our little figures. Oh, I'm gonna take the leaves off of them. I've been coming out here uncovering them. If not, you'll get lost in all these leaves. We had a big one here and a little one here, but this one here done sort of got all messed up which it looks like a deer trail right there it could have been deer trail and deer coming through here walking on that's what i'm putting it off on i've been rapping who do we send screenshots to y'all go to my profile page and my email is on my profile page Take you a screenshot of my profile page, and you know you have you have it on there, or write it down, or whatever. It's Jeremy Henson88 at gmail.com. I've gotten so many pictures this week. This is just something me and my son come out here to do just in case we was being watched while we was out here. I brought him with me and I stacked and drew this one and he stacked this one and he actually had a pretty good figure. Y'all can go look at previous videos I got on my farm collection and you can see the day that me and him did these. And every time I come out here I just keep all the grass, I mean the grass, the leaves right back off of it. I ain't got no baseball bat, cowboy. I ain't played baseball since I was a kid, and I didn't have no boy till Jasper was just born. I had girls 
raised in my whole life, and none of them played baseball, so I never had a baseball bat for the last 20 something years with kids. I know it may be crazy, but. Oh, how are we gonna send me a baseball bat? He said he gonna personalize it and autograph it, and we're gonna be doing some beating. Well, we'll do another 360. Let me get in a spot where I ain't got no trees around me. Remember this tree right here, look at all these yellow leaves, gold, whatever color you want to call them, bronze colored. See this leaning tree? It gives y'all something for landmarks. When we do our 360, just to show you I'm not lying or I'm not kidding, I'm going to do a complete 360 and you come back to this gold looking tree and there's not another gold, well you'll see as we circle. Just remember that crooked tree and that, gold, that bronze colored leaves tree. It's actually a I believe a beech tree. I'm gonna start now. Just remember them bronze colored leaves because everywhere I'm turning you won't see you see them little bitty ones right there in front of us, but that a while ago was a great big bronze. You see that blue trailer? You can see how far I done walked away. I don't have good service here neither. I see a red dot up there, y'all. I don't want to move, I want to keep circling for you, but we're about to lose service. Now look, we come right back to this bronze tree and leaning tree. I lost service there for a minute, but... Third time since we've been out here today, y'all. Hey, hey, Miss Holly, how are you? Roy, I seen you call a while ago. Me and Daddy was coming back from Greenwood, and the old man had a flat on his pickup, and he was wanting to go home. Me and Daddy was coming back from Greenwood, and the old man had a flat on his pickup, and he was wanting to go home. To where he lives tonight. So I just stopped by here. Daddy's up there in the pickup. I just stopped by here real quick. Help him. And I said, well, let me run down here real quick and see if I can't find this flag. Like, look like it's in the rain again. If he can go home and take Daddy home. Him and old man's up there talking. I just got the tire fixed. Tree. 
You going with me tonight, ain't you, Roy? I just come out here to put this, fix this old man's flat because he wanting to go home. As soon as I come out of these woods, the old man's finna head back home. He ain't gonna be here tonight. Him and Daddy just sitting up there chopping it up. And I said, well, let the two old men talk it up. Make both of them feel good having somebody to talk to. I said, that give me a reason to come down in these woods. I know if Daddy calls me, I'm going to have to end the live and go straight up there because he's ready to go then. I mean, he done done radiation this afternoon. Roy, what are you doing? You at home? He going with me tonight, Inner Inner Planet. I wasn't even planning on coming out here today. It just so happened that I come out here because the old man called me to fix a flat for him. And just by chance, he called me to come out here and fix the flat. Daddy was with me, and I just let them sit up there as two old men and yakety yak. And I walked my butt down here to kill about an hour. Let's see how long I've been on. One hour and ten minutes. kind of stuff here you can't see at night. Let me in the box. Hey. What are you doing, Roy? Nothing. I'm gonna go sit outside. I seen where I seen where you called, but I've done come live for a little bit while Daddy and him up there talking. Yeah, I see how Old man, done run over something. I've been in Greenwood or Hospital all afternoon. Me and Daddy ain't even made it home yet. No I man know, called. I'm... Had a flat. I didn't know if you heard me a while ago. No, it was kind of lagging, but I think it was me. Yeah, old man had a flat wanting to go home, so I come out here to put a spare tire on for him. Man, you need to do... Never mind, you can't do that. If you do that, then they won't be able to see the lie. What? I was going to say, redo the boxes, man. You can read Justin some bitch. I don't know how to do all that. I do. You know me, I normally don't go like Look at this old bottle right here, Roy. Down in here, but I just found the mm. leaves. A storm the other night. Washed it down. That's how old that is, I reckon. Hell, I don't know. That's old now. It's old, ain't it? Look at, look at the lid on so you can walk the bottom of them off and you can see. What up, Greer? Trying to get it where y'all can see it. I'm not a bottle person. You can definitely see it's old, though. It don't make, it's slap full of mud. That's nice. We're going to take that with us. Look where it come from, Roy. Little old ditches down here. Hell, there's an old bucket up there, look. Man, you better get away from that hole with some maybe some up in there, man. Oh, 
hunger. Let me water the whole shit and see. Somebody said, what's on the bottom? That's upside down. You got to think our camera's going to be back. No, it ain't. No, it shouldn't be. Can you see that? Yeah, I know what the hell that means. I don't either. I'm not a bottle person. You don't know what's in that damn hole? How did you tell you that? It's the wash out here. Jamie, where are you at? You got a green dot? Yes. Huh? Yellow. Well, I don't Yellow. know. Why. Yellow? Oh, well. Why is it lagging? A little bit. Ain't is it, it lagging? Yeah, they got nothing to do with the box. I got, ain't got green. To, ain't got nothing to do with me. I working. got a green dot now. Well, yes, it ain't lagging as bad. I got the yellow dot now. Somebody took a screenshot. The energy is up to date. Is it now? It's where you'll find. It's where you'll find a snake at down here. Look at this tree I'm going to crawl on. Man, it's too cold for no damn snake. Uh, Hell yeah. Thank you very much. Hello. Hello. Oh, she said she got her glue. My glue. I'm going to get out of my house. The what? I'm going to get out of my house. The what? Came in yesterday. Ooh, don't that look spooky? They came in at her house or your house? At my house yesterday afternoon. Man, I ain't. I ain't seen you today. I know I ain't. So I right, bet. So I'm gonna need them things tonight. Uh huh. Oh, I can't wait to wear them from a bitch. Man, I don't know if I can go up that way. That looks a little rough. Damn, I'm like a dog, man. I'm having to use all fours to climb up the hill. Well, look at this hill. I just had to climb up real. Let me see. I can't see it too good on here. Damn! Did y'all just see that? How about fail? How about fail? How? Oh. Damn. How? I heard that door slam over at Moe's shop, and uh, when I did, I backed up off the concrete, and then I hit rocks. I ain't good at walking on rocks. Hell no. Somebody tell me to kick rocks. They better give me a ride because I ain't finna walk in no rocks. Well, what the hell I just saw, Roy? As I was sitting there talking, I heard a loud noise and I don't know what that was. Man running a million different ways. A man running a million different ways out there. No, I said my man. The man I'm sitting here with my phone pointed down this ditch right here looking.
And I heard something go poof, like a loud Where? stick getting thrown. And I look. Where are you at down in there? I don't know if anybody saw that or maybe it's just me. I don't know what that was. I don't. I was looking down in this ditch. I done found this one old bottle. Hell, I'm steady looking for bottles. Well, get your ass out the bottle and look in the woods. What was that? Everybody in here. You're frozen. Yeah, I got a yellow bar. I was headed out till I heard that noise. That's what I'm I sitting there. I got a jacket in your car. Yeah, you got a jacket in your car. Oh, bad, because, uh, I'm going to be in your coat with you. Man, I got to figure out how to make my words good. I got to move around while I get a... Make your words. Yeah, dude. Whatever I can't really see. Be trying to make sure I'm following everybody in here, but you got some pretty cool people. You want anything? I want to leave the Like, what are we looking for? Our mind is getting down on like could not get them in a gun or something. I don't know. Several people said they seen it and heard it also. That may have been the sun went down. Thing. You know it gets dark quick around here. Yeah, it was hot as hell earlier, and that was cold as fuck this morning. Cold. Sandy. What? It's right there under that log. Man, where? I don't see nothing over there. Are you moving? Hmm, I'm... Moving now. I was sitting still just looking. Damn. Somebody wants that bottle. Check message me a address in my well, look, email and I'll send here. it to somebody. I'm gonna get off here and I'm gonna charge my phone up it ain't on forty eight percent. It's been on forty eight been it ain't been past fifty all day because I've been on this thing. But uh I'm gonna get off here and I'm gonna see you in a little bit. I'll see you in a little while. You think Jeffrey gonna go? Hi, right, bro. Hey. No. I don't think he is uh, either. Wait. All right, I'm gonna get out of here. See you, Roy. Have a good one. I'll see y'all later. I don't know nothing I wouldn't do. All right, bro. My email is on my bio. Somebody go email me and give me an address and I'll send it to somebody. I've got 400,000 bottles in my shop ranging from little bitty ones to great big ones I find. I've seen these before. Old medicine bottles. Megan, we were walking around down in the woods a while ago, and we found this bottle. We got a storm the other night, and it washed all these leaves from water coming up the hill down to this gully. And actually, we was on down there somewhere. Found this old medicine bottle down there. Still full of mud. Great shape. Don't know the year, but I give it to somebody. Y'all email me an address, and I'll send it to somebody. Whoever wants it.
You want it, Miss Tammy? Well, I got your address. I'll put it in the mail and send it to you. I appreciate them gloves you sent. I'll clean the mud out of it first. We found it right down there in that ditch. The reason I know is because there's that metal bucket we walked up to. So we found it right down in there somewhere. I have several of these old bottles. Y'all send me emails with some addresses. I'll send y'all several old bottles. I got different types of old medicine. I got some half his size. I got some that look just about this size. They all do. I got a bunch of them. I got some old Pepsi Cola bottles, some old Mountain Dew bottles, some old Coke bottles. I got hundreds of old Coke bottles. Send me an address and I'll send it to y'all. That's a Bigfoot moonshine bottle. I tell you what, it has not been in this bottom before because I've walked. What I'm figuring is that storm come in the other night and we got a flash flood. I figured that flash flood just washed it down and uncovered it from the leaves. Coke bottles, could it? Thousand for one. I got so many old Coke bottles. Y'all gotta think, I've been in the woods since I was a little old bitty kid, and I collected and got all sorts of stuff. Horseshoes. We found an old horseshoe down there the other day. Me and, who was with me? Me and, uh, Willie. Me and Willie come out here. We found an old horseshoe out there the other day. Well, my battery just dropped to 5%, so we ain't gonna be able to go much longer. This phone here, it gets to 5%. I'll sign it for you, and I'll put BFSS, Miss Tammy. See you tonight, cowboy. Yeah, my phone down sent now. I'm just trying to get to 30,000 likes, y'all. That'll help me out come tonight. Put you on the For You page a little quicker. I got a green dot up there right now. Megan, take screenshots if you would, and my email is in my bio. Twenty-eight-three. I hope we don't get no rain tonight, y'all, like they're calling for. Just to give y'all a little, see the leaning tree? See the little bronze leaves on it? Let me get my finger out because my phone's do a whoop call. Well, y'all gonna have to do an earbud morning. That's what we do at nighttime. If you want me to do a couple calls, y'all do turn your earbuds down because it'll hurt your ears. On my nighttime investigations, I'll say earbud warning, and I do a three, two, one, and I generally do my calls. That way, it gives everybody about four or five seconds to turn the volume down.
But I'll give y'all a little bit longer to turn it down, and I'll do one here in just a second. Y'all tell me when you're ready. <laughs> 